learning more this morning about what led up to the deadly confrontation between Douglas County officers and the suspect with a rifle. Denver 7's Megan Lopez is live in front of the Copper Canyon apartment complex where this all happened. You were the first reporter on scene yesterday, Megan. The police were called to the suspect's apartment apparently twice that night. That's right, Molly. The first call was some sort of a verbal argument between two men. Deputies came, they left, they were called back again for a domestic disturbance, and those first shots rang out almost exactly at this time yesterday. So here's what we know happened so far. Around 3 a.m. yesterday morning, police were called to the apartments of Copper Canyon in Highlands Ranch after receiving reports of a verbal altercation between two men. The man said that the suspects seemed to be having some sort of a mental breakdown. Deputies responded but found that no crime had been committed, so they left. Then around 514, they were called back. First one officer arrived and then three more. The man who was in the apartment had left and gave police the keys to that apartment and permission to enter. The deputies entered just before six, and that's when the suspect opened fire from his bedroom with a rifle. He hit all four deputies. Three of them were able to get out to safety, but Deputy Zachary Perry got stuck in the apartment and died. SWAT entered around 730. They exchanged fire with the suspect and killed him. However, a fifth SWAT officer was also shot. Two civilians who we don't have their identities right yet uh, were also shot by the suspect. Here's what we know about those deputies. Just to reiterate, Deputy Parrish was 29 and was transferred to Douglas County to the Sheriff's Office just seven months ago from Castle Rock PD. He leaves behind a wife and two very young children. Deputies Michael Doyle, Jeff Pelly, and Taylor Davis, as well as SWAT officer Tom O'Donnell, were injured, but they are said to be in stable condition. The suspect is 37-year-old Matthew Reel. He's an Iraq War veteran who Denver 7 discovered had posted a ranting video on YouTube that railed against the Douglas County Sheriff's Office. Now, this morning, the area where I'm at was under a code red alert yesterday, but traffic is allowed to go through here. There is still two SWAT car, uh, two squad cars rather that are on the scene here and this investigation we're told is going to take several days just to collect the evidence. Part of the reason for that is just because there is so much. The suspect is said to have fired more than 100 rounds in about an hour and 15 minute time span alone. We're live this morning in Highlands Ranch. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.